Yo, 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 what up? Let me fix the camera real quick, man. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me, let me fix the camera real quick, man. Look, so, I done already got excited. I already been messing with the box, but it's your boy Calvin the Great, man. Got a new video for you guys. We're going to be doing the Air Jordan 4 Guavas Union box. I know y'all see the box. I know y'all see the vibe. This is a LA exclusive, so I got the LA exclusive fitted on to go with it. Shout out to the Dodgers, man. Let's see what's good with it. So look, if you guys haven't already checked out my first two videos, make sure to go check them out. Uh, first one was my top five shoes in my collection. Second one was my off-white rubber dunk green stripe review. Just make sure to go check those out, man. Let's get straight to it. Man, I'm excited for these, man. I was actually able to hit these for retail, man. But let's just start with the box. Bro, this might be the hardest box I've ever seen, especially on an Air Jordan. This box is crazy, bro. Just the colors, the detail, the packaging on the inside, which I will get into in a second. As you guys can see, I was able to hit my personal size, a size 10 in the Air Jordan 4 Guava. Got them directly from Union when they came out on the website. Bro. Where do I begin, man? These is dope. Let's let's get the box out. Let's get the top off. I'm gonna set that right there. All right, as soon as you open the box, man, you got the packaging. The packaging is dope. Not sure if you guys will be able to see super good because I do have the flash on on my back camera. Hopefully it can focus on there. Um, but basically, man, on the inside, you got MJ. I'm be 100% honest, bro. MJ was not my time. I don't know exactly what event this is. But all I know is this is dope, bro. This is something that could have been left out. This is something that they didn't have to do. That just made it, it made it way, way better, bro. And like having a clothing line and stuff like that, what I realized is presentation is everything, bro. Like if you go, if you go to a designer store and you see how they present their clothes and how it's on mannequins and the, the hangers they use, stuff like that, bro, that makes you like, damn, like this is quality. Now, if you go like to, I don't want to diss nobody, bro, but, like, let's just compare that to a normal store, like Zoomies or something like that. Zoomies is a is a nice store, but it's, like, you just see the stuff folded, you know what I mean? You see, like, 20 different, one of the same item, you know what I mean? Like, at designer stores, like, it's damn near, like, one per, one per item. They'll grab it for you from the back, you know, they don't want to take up too much space. So, presentation is everything, bro. These is fire. These is fire, bro. So, let's get into it. Let's get into it, bro. Union Air Jordan 4 Guava. LA exclusive, man. We pulling for the Dodgers, man. So I had to bust the LA exclusive on you guys. I did hit the black pair. Uh, I'll be doing a review on the black pair probably tomorrow. I'm going to probably do both. I'm, I'll probably do the black one by itself. And then I'll do a review of both of them. Let's get into the shoe. This shoe, the colors is crazy. Everything about this shoe is crazy. It's different. We got the flip tongue. We got just everything about this shoe is crazy, man. Like when the shoe first surfaced online, the pictures that we got, we was like, mm, I ain't, you know, we don't really like them, bro. Like what we didn't know is that we will be able to flip the tongue up. I think that was the number one thing that people did not like, bro. Like, when I was reading the comments, even I was probably in a couple of the comments like, damn, bro, like, these is trash. Like, I was really talking about these. The closer to the release date, I started seeing better on-foot pictures. Like, um, I seen, like, a Laylee May rock them. I seen, like, some dope picture. I'm not even sure whose Instagram it was, but it was, like, these. And he was wearing, like, some, uh, like some beige chinos, but they was, like, baggy. It just looked really good with the shoe, so... I knew the hype was definitely going to be there no matter what. Um, even if the shoe ended up being trash, the hype still would have been there just because it is a Union 4, man. Like, we seen the, the Fragment 3 hype, and that shoe was, like, one of the plainest shoes there is. So I knew the hype was going to be real on these, man, especially that they are a very good-looking shoe. They are different. You do have the option to uh, unsew the tongue. That's dope. Me, personally, I'll probably just leave it how it is, man. Like... Um, one thing about me, if I'm a, if I like a shoe that's different, like for example, like off white, like the off white fives, I don't, I'm not going to go out my way to try to make it OG. I have seen pictures of both. Um, they look dope either way, but it's not, 
I'll probably just leave them how it is, bro. Like, I don't know. Maybe my feelings will change in the future. Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comment section. If you if you will unsold the tongue just to keep it OG, y'all let me know what y'all think. Because I can respect that, bro. But as far as the shoe itself, man, super dope. Super dope. I was able to hit for retail from the Union website. Um, as far as resale value on these, I've been getting a lot of hit-ups on um uh, instagram and stuff like that like hey would you sell these what's your opinion i'm gonna be honest um this is a size 10 these are going for between like nine nine hundred to a rack i've seen um like sizes like 12 and a half and up is already selling for 13 plus so these definitely will follow in those sizes footsteps i don't know how long it will take uh if i had to have an estimate i would say about six to eight months before minimum 13 uh where this shoe stops uh i would say around like 2000 bro i think 2000 would probably be the cap 18 to 2 and then the black pair would probably be under probably like 16 to 18 only because this is the exclusive I'm going to be honest, I'm surprised this shoe ain't like 2000 already just being the exclusive. But I mean, you got to go off history, bro. Like the ones, the Jordan ones, man, <laughs> bro, I had a chance to cop the ones for like 600 and pass, bro. Like, and now I look back, like I done had a chance so many times to cop shoes for like what seems like a lot, but it's a steal right now. You know what I mean? So honestly, if you're looking to invest this shoe is damn near like 100% guaranteed to make you a profit. If you can find pairs of these like locally, like eight to eight to 850 picked up, stuff like that, um, definitely bro, like hold these for about six to 10 months, they will go up. These is fire. I have not decided if I'm an undead stock mine. I think I'm gonna just throw these in the box, leave them, just see how resale does. I'm not in a rush to undead stock them. I still haven't even undead stock my off-white fives that I got on my birthday, which is my favorite shoe like that I probably have in my collection. So I'm not in a rush to undead stock these, but these are super dope, bro. You got the Nike Air on the back. Everything about the shoe is dope. The presentation of it, the box, the packaging, the colorway is crazy. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section about these. Stay tuned. Please make sure to like and subscribe. We out.